Hey you guys, so today I want to talk about something that seems to be a bit of a trend right now coming into my studio at least. I'm seeing a lot more clients come in uh, that are just sending me super rough melody and lyric, no music underneath it for their songs, asking me to build a song around it. Often they'll just be uh, singing an idea into their phone and sending it to me. All right, so the song that I have up is something that I did a while back for an artist. Uh, sent me just a rough idea from her phone. Uh, the pitch uh, sh shifts, the key moves around a little bit, the tempo isn't exactly locked in because, of course, she's just laying an idea on her phone. So when I did this, of course, I had to sort of figure out what the general key was, work with that. I, I shifted some of the melodies here and there just a little bit, but mostly it's what she gave me. And I really thought she gave me something fantastic. So I want to show the original demo that she sent me, then I'll show you what I did with it. Here we go. The artist just sent me something that was recorded on her phone. It sounds like it's recorded on a phone. Uh, her melodies were super cool. Her voice is super cool. But um, of course there was lots of tempo issues. So just laying that down and trying to cut it up so I could work against it was one thing. Also she shifts around a little bit key wise. So I had to kind of figure out where she was generally and then pitch things to uh, fit a key for me so I could work with that. So all of those crude elements sort of become part of the process of creating a song around uh, somebody's recording like this. But I feel like if you can take your time and get it right, it allows the producer a lot of creativity in the music, even tweaking the melodies a little bit, because often in that stage, the artist is still trying to develop some of their ideas. All right, so let me play you just a little bit of what she sent. No one means to drop a porcelain vase, but our hands are weak. And crashes happen when tempers snap for no one antique. Okay, so you get the vibe of that. Let me play a little bit of her chorus. I'm just a beautiful thing that you broke. Handle with care, I know you don't. I'm just a beautiful thing that you broke. All right, so what I loved about that was, first of all, she's got a great voice. I love her tone, her vibe. Uh, she does set up a general groove for me in, in the way she sings it. Uh, so I started chopping it up a little bit. Uh, finding a sort of a standard tempo and then time stretching some of the things I needed to uh, to, to 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 match the tempo exactly. But then I started moving things around and finding the parts that I loved and trying to figure out what I wanted to do musically around it based on what she was describing to me. So let me play you what I ended up with and then I'll talk about it. I love the bass that I built on the um, on the verse. I was looking for something kind of edgy. I used uh, some sounds from Arcade and Substance. I had this Trap Attack bass from Arcade. This gives it some uh, kind of low end. Also a sound here from Substance that I really like the character of this sound. I turned it up a little bit. Also use some kind of uh, old school drum sounds. 
the feel of that. That's from the Abbey Rhodes collection in uh, Native Instruments. Um, and I probably just used more of a standard kick. And I brought in a little kick click, click there to give it a little edge on the front end. Thought it cut nicely through with that bass. Cool. Um, And I broke it down here because specifically the artist had asked for a breakdown moving into the chorus. Nice touch, nice idea. And again, no chords as you heard with the original demo. I created the music around what she had. Uh, I shifted a few spots here melodically to accommodate, but mostly it's what she did. Really love what she did there. Uh, I love that melody that she gave me toward the end of the chorus. And I don't think she laid it rhythmically in the same place. I, I shifted it, same melody, just moved. And I loved it so much that I've got it as an intro. All right, it just goes to show that, you know, it, as a producer, really, whatever you get, you need to figure out how you can work with it. And I really actually enjoy getting these kind of super rough ideas from singers that I can sort of jump in creatively on the song side as well as the production side and help develop it out. It's been a lot of fun working like that. So I don't have a problem with people starting their songs like that with me at all. If you guys enjoyed this, hope it was worthwhile. If it was, please like, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until next time.